Unit 4, Section A, Exercises 6 and 7 Armita In Iran, we celebrate Novruz, the Persian New Year, at the beginning of spring. It's a time to clean our house, come together with our families and celebrate with food, parties and picnics. Novruz is on the day of the spring equinox, but the celebrations go on for days. If you visit an Iranian home at this time of year, you will also find a haftzin, a collection of items that symbolise our hopes for the new year. It always includes plants, dried fruit, apples, garlic, something sweet, vinegar and spices. Bjorn Midsummer is the most popular festival of all in Sweden. It happens on the Friday closest to the longest day of the year and is great fun. If you're in a Swedish village at this time, you might see children dancing around a large pole during the celebrations before everyone sits down for a traditional Swedish meal of fish and potatoes and the first strawberries of the year. If you're here, you'll also experience the white nights when the sun never sets. It's a magical time for sure. Shilpa In late October or early November in India, we celebrate Diwali, the festival of lights. It lasts for five days and everywhere you go, people put up lights in the streets and in their houses and set off fireworks. We also have large family feasts to celebrate the triumph of light over darkness and new beginnings. If you're in a big city like Delhi for the celebrations, you won't be able to sleep because there are fireworks and music all night. Jacob You could be surprised if you're in Brighton on the winter solstice. Every year, there is a great community celebration called the Burning of the Clocks. Children from across the city make beautiful paper lanterns, which they carry through the streets and then burn in a large bonfire on the beach. It only started in 1993, but the idea was to create a new ritual to mark the end of year and to focus attention on our hopes and dreams for the new year. Unit 4, Section C. 